On the first day of Eid al Hatta, Bashar al-Assad arrives in Qara, greeted by a cheering crowd. The town was surrounded by Daesh just days ago. Assad's there not just to prey on the Islamic holiday, but also to send a message that his country is safe and he's in firm control. The visit was another carefully orchestrated PR exercise by his regime. But the situation is much different for the hundreds of thousands of refugees in camps like this, as well as millions of Syrians throughout Turkey. Another Eid means another time of celebration away from their homeland. Hussein and his four children have been at the Öncüpınar camp in Kilis for six years. He doesn't believe a word Assad says. There is no safety in our country. If there was, we wouldn't be here in Turkey. We are in Turkey because it's safe for us here. Hussein is like many of the thousands of people at the camp. He spent about a dozen holidays away from his home. The mood is somber. It tears me apart that we are far from home, away from our families, land and houses. Thank God things here are going well. We are hoping that those countries that are friends of Syria remove Bashar and our country goes back to being safe and secure. His wish is unlikely to happen anytime soon. So he and the other refugees celebrate Eid in Turkey. The children in the camp are dressed up in their nicest clothes and play in the streets. But the war continues back home. Assad celebrates Eid in Syria, and they cannot. Ali Janayandar, TRT World, in Kiris, near the Turkish-Syrian border.